um, I think a lot of you will notice that uh, John Powell is um, is not playing the scene like a Carl Stalling cartoon. I mean, it's an animated thing, but he's not he's not actually hitting every beat. He's not hitting every cut. He's not hitting every action. Yes, he's he's grabbing some of them, but the tempo stays relatively the same throughout. All of this uh, quarter equals one twenty four. It's a you know straight four four. He'll interject some two four bars so that the downbeat will land and he'll have, he'll have that big sweeping, you know, crescendo with the harp gliss into a downbeat right as something important happens. But for the most part, he's just kind of floating over on top and commenting periodically here and there. And that's sort of his overarching concept to how he approached not just this film, but, um, his, you know, his uh, Ice Age to a certain degree and all the other um, DreamWorks animation pictures that he did. And that's, that's something that he didn't, he, he purposely did not want to do is to Mickey Mouse in this. And you, you can it's clear as day that he's not doing that. And it, and it works brilliantly. So that's why this is such an enjoyable piece of music to listen to because it is a piece of music. It goes from A to B to C to D and it makes sense and it flows. Um, but it's also a very enjoyable listening experience on CD. And I think that's why his music is just so universally loved and especially the score. 